NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons why blood donations tend to dip this time of year. Mm. A lot of people are busy, of course, with holiday get-togethers, holiday travel, but also the weather, they say, typically keeps people away because of treacherous travel. We've seen that as a possible factor this year. Yeah, and all the power outages, some of them mm -hmm. two, three days long, yep. how long they last. So, um, uh, rough start to... What, the next six months? Yeah. Oh it's a boy. long winter. Better not Sorry. be that long, Tyler. No, we'll have some <laughs> nice days in March. Let's take a look at a beautiful shot here. It was high up, but our transmitter engineer, Larry Page, sent this in today from the top of Mount Mansfield. So, uh, bright sky if you are at 4,000 feet elevation looking above the clouds. Stunner there. Brattleboro right now, nice night as well. Down to 33. It won't be super cold in Brattleboro, but Newport, Montreal, those spots in the single digits tonight. And we're constantly watching the outage numbers 548. That's what we've got left. Clinton County. The number there is zero. So these are just the individual spots 284 in Callis alone. Topsom 78 Worcester 40 East Montpelier 40. It's just like it was early last week, just not quite as bad, not as many. So we're watching that 24 in Gabriel's right now. We've got a 29 in Lebanon clouds overhead, but they're a little bit thinner far north and east, and that's why up towards Newport, it will be colder tonight with the single digits Island Pond. A uh, cold spot always likely single digits there as well. So here are the clouds tomorrow morning breaking to a little sun by little two, three hours worth of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. So that'll be nice, but it's cold tomorrow. Clouds are back Thursday when we start to warm up. There may be a snow shower in New York Thursday, but it's mostly a tranquil day as temperatures slowly start to come up. And then we've got 40s and 50s in the plan for this weekend with an area of low pressure going well west of us. And that is almost always a recipe for rain and not snow. We're watching it, but the trend is still definitely very wet for later Sunday, Sunday night and Monday. The other thing is the very strong wind may come with the rain, so we might be dealing with some more outages because of wind, not really wet snow this time around. This is Sunday night into Monday. It could end as a little bit of snow, but usually that tail end snow is not super significant, but we're keeping a close eye on it. Lows tonight by tomorrow morning, six in Montreal, 17 for Plattsburgh, Saranac Lake, 14. A few more clouds as you go south. That's why it's not quite as cold for, say, Rutland or Bennington. And we don't go up a whole lot tomorrow. Most of us have highs in the 20s. Clouds in the morning, a little sun in the afternoon, 24 for Stowe. Down the road, there's a few 30s, like a 30 at Woodstock, 33 for Bennington. Here's the five-day forecast with, well, a lot of clouds, but... It does turn warmer, 39 on Friday, 46 on Saturday. Could be a pretty good day to get outside on Saturday, even though it doesn't look very bright. But the rain is really in here later Sunday into Sunday night and Monday. After that system, it does turn colder, but seasonably cold there. High temperatures by the midpoint of next week in the mid-30s. And the average high right now is about 39. So no exceptional cold in the forecast. It's really just the warm-up. Jack, Liz?